Hustling and hacking are very different things. We hate the word Jugaad. I think the glorification of Jugaad in India is a very damaging thing. So Locus broadly stands for the best in class technology in supply chain. Tomorrow, if blockchain based smart contracts become the mainstream, Locus will build the very best of them. So what we aim to do is if you are a logistics company, we want to be your entire tech stack. So anything and everything that brings in inefficiencies in uh, logistics, we want to solve that for you. Instead of just answering the question where the truck is via GPS tracking, we broadly answer the question where the truck should be. When we left Amazon and we started this, so we had some few core theses. One was like, we want to solve an open problem. Second was, we wanted quality to be a defining characteristic, like more than logistics, more than technology, more than supply chain, whether more than sales, more than product. Like our code should not break in production. Our sales emails should not have a typo. Their font should be perfectly aligned and my design should be pixel perfect. My communication should be professionals. Everything should be metricized. Typically, our clients are uh, SMEs to enterprises. So we are positioned that way. Like we, we, we position ourselves as a very, very premium offering. Uh, mainly big enterprises who will benefit from our platform. I joined Amazon uh, to work on building machine learning models to fight credit card fraud. I used to live in a hostel before that in Bitspilani, and now I moved to a new city. So we thought, let's build a tool which can, which lets you message people that are around you, even without knowing them beforehand. So we built this technology known as PinChat. And that's how we got into the whole location-based uh, technologies. Then in November, December 2014 was the infamous incident where a passenger was compromised by a driver. Right? A week later, my sister was just coming back to Bangalore and she just messaged me at night that, you know, hey, see you home in 45 minutes. And that sent me into a slightly irrational panic attack. That time there was no location, tracking, nothing, right? I was like, Didi, can you share location on WhatsApp every 10 minutes? And that led Geet, my co-founder, and I to think that, is there a way to prevent something like this from happening? So we built an app which has a route deviation feature. It's a women safety app known as Ride Safe. It constantly monitors how your driver is taking you to your thing. If it detects a rational, if it detects like a route which is no, there's no rational reason for him to be go there, it alerts you. If you don't react, it alerts your friends and families. Incidentally, in March 2015, when the whole food tech industry was booming up, a couple of startups started using RideSafe to track the delivery boys. Or so we thought. When we talked to them, they said, no, no, we are not even tracking. But if they get a deviation, then we know which was a very critical insight. So now in supply chain, there was a whole GPS thing that came in, you know, a few years back. And there's a lot of now data available. There's a bunch of, you know, the plus with the IoT, there's even more sensors available. So there's a, now we know our data, we know the statuses and everything. But there was no decision-making engine on top of it, right? And that was very interesting. And there was no, no known engine which would work in India. Because in India, the physical world is even more complex. And that's how, you know, as engineers building a B2C chat app, we ended up building a large B2B enterprise focus organization. Uh, we want to be involved in tracking and monitoring 1% of the entire world transport movement. That's a 20 year vision. So I guess half a percent of that in 10 years. So we've gone through a couple of rounds. The first round was a seed round where we picked a small 250k check from a clutch of angels like Amit Ranjan who is the founder of Slideshare, GrowX which is a boutique firm investing in deep tech B2B, Manish Singhal who now runs Pi Ventures, Rajesh Ranawat, MD of Leaf on Capital. Right? So this was our first round of seed capital which, with which we built the team and built like the first iteration of the product. Then in 2016 we had raised our Series A. This was led by Xfinity. Xfinity is the venture arm of Infosys founding team. 
uh, along with Bloom Ventures and Be Next from Asia Pacific. Right. We've been pretty lucky with our investor group. They've both been extremely supportive and as well as proactively helpful in you know giving us enterprise connects and connects into other startups to help us sell our solution. People tell you that it's not easy and it's going to be difficult, but no one can actually tell you how difficult it's going to be. We were of the opinion that once we get our first round of funding, it will be smooth sailing from there on. It didn't happen. But then we thought when we get the next round of funding and we'll have a slightly bigger team, then it will be smooth sailing. It didn't happen. And it's getting more and more difficult. Only. Like there are a lot more new battles to fight every single day. As a startup with limited resources and bandwidth and people, you will always be crunched, crunched for time. You will always slip on some things. Be sure to understand what tasks are important and what tasks are urgent and you are not constantly prioritizing urgent over important. A lot bigger problem is not knowing what to do. So there is no rule book, there is no playbook that you can go by. There are no steps that you can take. So that absence of any guidance or anything, I think that's the biggest challenge. You should have an idea of where you want to be, but the journey, it's a huge unknown. So it will change, it will be scary, but you just keep going. But at the same time, you need to know when to give up. So start ignition, count to zero. I just wanna be a superhero.